Hello everyone. Hope you people are doing good. And uh, welcome to my channel, All in Reality. And uh, today we'll be just going through Unity Mars plugin, which is very much helpful for AR application debugging. Till now, uh, we were uh, not able to do any debugging inside the editor properly. So you got to ship your application into a device, physical device, and test it. But now I don't think that is any more needed. And Unity Mars is going to solve that problem. So let's build a small application and try to test that into a Unity Mars and let's see how it is going to work. Yeah guys, so Unity Mars website you can go into. I'll try to provide this link into the description. So once you go here, you'll be able to see how many users you want to choose. And uh, you can actually according to that uh, select your payment uh, plan. 45 days it will be free after that it will be chargeable according to your plan. So once you complete this purchase, you will be getting a package, uh, sorry, you will be getting a mail from Unity team. So I will be just uh, showcasing that. So from there you will be getting a link to download the package of Unity Mars, which will be linked to your ID. Now we have the package ready and now we will create a project and try to import that. Let's create a project. Yeah, so I'm naming it as Unity Mars and yeah, create project. So it'll take some time. Yeah, now the project is ready. So let's import the package which we have downloaded from uh, Unity. Yeah guys, so the project is having the package uh, imported. I think uh, now we can go and uh, explore the things and uh, let me show you all the options which I've gone through. And uh, yeah, so you can go to create as well as uh, window also. You have uh, several options which are provided by Unity. So here you can see a Mars window separately created. In that uh, you can see different different views. Uh, for example, you have a simulation view, de device view. You have a simulation test runner view, which is very much uh, cool. And yeah, these are all the tools which are provided by Mars uh, plugin of Unity. And uh, let's go through each and everything. So, so for now, let's go to simulation view and let's dock it here. And uh, now you can see here. This is an environment which is uh, going to act as your real environment for your AR application testing. So let's go ahead and see what are all things you have in your simulation view. So there is a settings button which you can actually see simulation scene options. You can actually try to change your tone of your scene or you can switch on and switch off your x-ray view so I would like to put x-ray view on so that I can see what all things are there inside as well as you can actually resync this is going to resync your uh, simulation view whatever you see and you can now coming to this option so you have different different options which you can go through for example you have a backyard where you want to test your AR app so this is kind of outdoors which you want to utilize for your AR application as well as you have different sizes of bedrooms which will be required for your different different uh, use cases and uh, test cases so you have even uh, real scale environments where uh, you can see CT kind of uh, stuff I think this is for only for vertical spaces vert vertical view spaces and uh, dining room you have you have various you can see so many simulation options which you can utilize for your AR application and uh, kitchen even we have a factory where you can actually test your application cool so yeah so for now we can go ahead with the uh, bedroom Now you can see there is an option, there is a sorry warning. Current scene can't be simulated. Add a Mars session to the scene to start the simulation. So I'm going to 
add a mars session which is under mars uh, create options so you can see pretty much so many options here for example you have horizontal plane vertical plane image markers also you can test so previously you were not able to test image markers with ar foundation like it will not allow you to test image markers that is also now it is possible and you have forces align to proxy align to camera so many kind of options you have which will be useful for your AR development as well as you have a mars session which we want to add for so we'll go to that so proxy objects you have different kind of proxy objects which will be acting as a proxy object for your AR session as well as you have uh, data visualizers for example plane visualizer which will be only previously it was available in your device testing you are not able to do plane visualizing and all in your IDE so now you can do that in your scene itself in the IDE as well as you can see point cloud visualizer as well as light estimation visualizer so for now let's add Mars session and right away it is giving me to play the scene so now you can go ahead and see so I am actually inside the scene inside the, so let me dock the simulation view here so that you will be able to see what I am doing in the scene yeah so pretty much it is a room So your simulation view will be your like a device view. And even you have a device view where you can record your actions and you can try to save that particular yeah file as a video or something like that and yeah so let's go ahead and uh, see the simulation view now i'm adding a plane visualizer to see what are the planes it is trying to recognize and uh, how it is going to help us so plane and visualizer i have added and i've saved the scene and let me add uh, point loads also which is very much uh, basic for any AR testing so let's play and see yeah so we are inside the scene so you can see some point clouds now straight away and it is it is started recognizing the floors also as well as vertical plane horizontal plane basically pretty much everything yeah, so you can see the point clouds as well as planes recognized in the simulation view. Cool. And yeah, so that is very much good. And even uh, you have uh, presets which is provided by Unity. You can go to Mars again window and you can see there is a choose template option and you have different different kind of templates which is predefinedly given by unity so you can actually choose one of them and try to explore the options so now uh, for now i'm going for tabletop so straight away i am seeing the cube placed on the surface so let's go and again try to test this uh, template so yeah So you can see the cube placed on a surface which is actually kind of tabletop. So you can see the floor as well as the table and I think uh, these are all the proxy settings actually provided for this object. You can see which is uh, parent of which is the parent of the content and uh, you can see plane size conditions which is actually controlling your plane size which it is going to be placed on you can actually even see the size of the conditions 
in your uh, simulation view. I guess you can actually rescale the options also and it is straight away changing your plane size conditions. I am going to put it for 0 0.5 only as of now which is very much uh, convenient for me. And even you have uh, height placement, I think it is on set, I have seen. So you can see there is an elevation relation which is telling the object to place on only particular surfaces. You can see now there is an elevation which is showing me the upper limit and the lower limit of the object where it is going to place. Yeah, so even you can change your elevation so that it will be placed on a surface or it will be placed on a tabletop that you can actually control using this. I think even you can see the size of like the plane whether it is satisfying the sizes which you are mentioning here on the plane size conditions. Yeah, there is one more feature called uh, simulation test runner which is actually very much useful so you can see all the options here you have so many environments which are uh, ready to be tested on your application so you can choose anything and try to test it but instead of going one by one you can go ahead and uh, try to build try to test your application for all the scenarios of these uh, examples so you can go to windows and you can see there is an option and once you choose the option you will be getting a menu I am just docking it here so that it will be visible properly yeah so this is basically going to do comparison of your uh, object to all the like not comparison basically but it will be putting your content on all the possible planes so I am just going with one is to one comparison and just let's simulate and once I click the simulate you can see it is actually checking for the suitable planes for my object or for my content. So it is uh, going to do that comparison for uh, several minutes and after that you can see the output. We have so many scenes which are uh, compared against and you can see which are having planes placed with our content, AR content. That's all for this part guys so it is very much exciting and uh, see the part 2 so that you can learn so much about Mars uh, where I am going to build an application into the device and test the device uh, capabilities also like and compare the thing with uh, Mars uh, capabilities. So thank you so much for watching and uh, I hope you like the video.